Hello everyone and welcome to this Blu-ray update, this special one. I'm going to showcase a Blu-ray collector set that I picked up over a month ago when it got released because the last film was going to be released on Blu-ray, so they brought out a big huge set. Well, not so big. A set, a nice set, well, somewhat nice set of all four movies. And of course, I am talking about the Hunger Games franchise. I can't remember when I bought this uh, within the last two months. And now let's talk about it. Let's show you inside and show you uh, what is featured here. Of course, you've got symbols from the Hunger Games right here. You have the side. There's a side that says the Hunger Games. Of course, this includes all four movies or all three films. You know, the last one was pretty much cut into two parts because money, whatever. Uh, there's the nice, beautiful front with Katniss Everdeen, played by Jennifer Lawrence. And on the back, you get the symbol for something. You know, this actually, this is kind of weird. When the first time I saw this symbol, the hands, uh, not this, yeah, uh, the hands doing that, I just was like, that's Boy Scouts. At least that's what I've known it's been throughout my life because I was a Boy Scout and Eagle Scout. And the Boy Scouts, this means you need to shut up and listen in a nice way. So um, that was kind of weird to see that was part of that. And it, uh, it's a nice moment in the movie. There's you know some nice moments in the movie when this is used. So, But every time I see it, I think of... Ugh, I think of uh, the Boy Scouts of America that I was a part of at one time. So let's show you uh, inside this collector set. And I, One thing I will tell you first off that I don't like about this is that it comes from the bottom... And if you're not holding it properly, it'll just slide right out really fast. It's just it, there's there's no staying power with the Hunger Games with the collector set. It's just like it just falls out, you know. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I wish it was. I wish it was uh, from the side. You just pull it out like that and you showcase it, but it just falls right out like that. Don't like that. But there you go. That's a nice cover, and it's a nice uh, thick cover. Nothing, uh, nothing too soft about that. Okay, so um, here is what's inside, and this folds out to a really nice picture. So I'll show you the picture. Um, I'll show you the discs first, and then we'll see the nice, beautiful picture that this showcases. So you open. Oh, oh, look at that. Well, I'll show you this first. So this is this is what came on the back, and it gives you all the credits to all the movies. And tells you what's on here. Over 14 hours of bonus features. Every movie, six discs. All the movies you can stand from the Hunger Game franchise. So all these special features, uh, the ratings of the film, the uh, the other rest of the members, cast members of the, the the entire franchise. Of course, you know who knows if they'll go back to this franchise, like a prequel or maybe a sequel or something. Anyway, so of course this is the story of Katniss Everdeen. And uh, I will share my feelings about each one of the movies really fast, if you care, if you'd like to know. All right, going to do it anyway. So um, stop the video now if you don't want to hear my opinion about The Hunger Games. So I'm going to open this up and just show you uh, the discs of all The Hunger Games. Uh, you actually get th six discs, as it says. So those are all six discs right there. Hunger Game 1 is on two discs. So you got the movie on Blu-ray and then all the bonus features. On, everything's on Blu-ray, so that's kind of nice. Catching Fire, I think might have... No, no, no. So Catching Fire, which... Uh, okay, so Hunger Games, of course, was my first experience with this whole story. I did read the book, the first book, after I saw the movie. And this is my favorite of the franchise, The Hunger Games. It is my favorite. I love this movie. It was just one of my favorite movies. And one of the, <clears throat> one of the first films when I started doing my vlogs... <clears throat> breathe... Uh, when I first started doing my vlogs, I uh, really was excited to talk about this movie once I saw it, because I really had some excitement for it, but was kind of scared because I was worried this was going to be the Twilight franchise all over again. So I love The Hunger Games, the original film. It is my favorite in the series. And then Catching Fire came out a year later, and that one was amazing because it's better. It's actually better than the... It's a sequel that's better than the first film. And I would not argue with anybody saying it is the best one. But my favorite will always be The Hunger Games, the first one. But this one is the best one. This is a great movie. Wonderful film. And I think the side-by-side, -side, 
watching these together, it's very exciting. So now we have Mockingjay, this is Mockingjay Part 1. This one comes with the special features and the discs. I'm um, sorry, special features and, and, and the feature movie feature itself. And I thought this was a great film, <clears throat> but all set up. Pretty much all set up. For what I was hoping, the greatest climax in the history of movie history climaxes. And it was not. So here is Hunger Games Part 2, Mockingjay Part 2 right here. Here it is. Uh, it's got the features, bonus features, and I'm guessing the es extra excrement, whatever. The extra disc is probably some extra features and stuff like that. Um, I'll take that off and just show you. So the complete film series bonus features right there. Um, so there you go. So there's Mockingjay Part 2. And of course, there is reviews for every one of these films on my channel, so if you really care. But if you really want to know, this one is my favorite, this one is the best, this one is great, and this is one of the weakest climaxes I've ever seen in movie history. So I thought this movie was good because I got to see my characters that I love over the last four or five years of cinema, but they did not know how to end this franchise, and it's a shame. So someday I'll probably, forever I'll probably watch the first two over and over again, and maybe one day I'll be like, okay, I'm going to sit down, it's been ten years, and I'll watch the entire franchise from the beginning to the end, and then just be disappointed again by part two. So, great franchise on a whole, just not all the films are as amazing as I want them to be. But this is a great set, I'm glad they're all like that, even though I wish it was a little different when it, when it came to the rest. But this is a beautiful set right here of the Hunger Games franchise, and now let's show you the back. So on the back, you have probably all the people ranging from the first film to the last film right here. So to show you that right now, of the Hunger Games, Catching Fire, Mockingjay Part 1, and Part 2. I still love this series so much, even though, sadly, it's not perfect. But they'll probably return to the whale very, very soon, whether they do something in the past of what happened here or something that's in the future. I don't know what I would like to see. Probably the past because I'd be interested to see how this all began and I'd also like to see the future to see if it all just like hey you know we didn't learn from anything we didn't learn from history so we are going through this all over again and then it has a new hero has to rise and hopefully they can bring back some of the other heroes you know like the the new Star Wars franchise or something like that I don't know we'll see you know because this made so much money and I wouldn't be surprised if it's brought back in some form in another in the, in the next 20 years, maybe 10 years. All right, everyone, I'm Movie Man Chad. Thank you again so much for checking out this video. And let me know in the comment box below, what do you think of the Hunger Games franchise? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Please, now it's your turn to share your thoughts. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and share this video. And also, please check out these amazing movie websites. And if you enjoyed this review, please click here to subscribe to my channel. And also, please check out all my recent reviews right here on YouTube. Have a great day. Live film. Find peace, happiness, and harmony in anything and everything you do. And I'll talk to you at my next movie review.